proper constrictor knot. To tie a proper constrictor knot, you want to go through the, the loop. Simply loop it around. You go through the loop. Oh, that's some fancy stuff. Okay. Not only did I pick her because she was the biggest, but she also had the nicest eyes. You see that? Now, the constrictor knot's very useful around your shelter. You can use it to help lash stuff together. Snake alarm. And you want to make sure to be really fast. You want to make sure you're extra fast when you come out. Present security all the time. Once you know how to tie a proper constrictor knot. That's what I do. It's Cloud Talker. Cloud Talker snake alarm. It's Cloud Talker. Very, very, very effective. Very low maintenance. And to tie a proper constrictor knot, you want to start with a fair medium sized constrictor here. See that oil? Look at that snake oil. You can see it going down the back. Whew! It's Cloud Talker. Two is more than one. Three. Whoa! Got three of them. That's how you tie the constrictor knot. Okay? See, this is what you do. That's what you do. The constrictor knot. It's Cloud Talker, and I'm down here in the venomous bog. The bog here where there's a lot of just goes down forever and I'm showing you how to tie venomous creatures that's how you hold four snakes at once now this is a four strand constrictor knot you can see the four heads there Whew. I'm gonna let them go well maybe I'll keep this one you know, now that's pretty soft stuff there. It's hard work catching these. A little bit too much snake oil on that one. We're gonna let this one go. We just have to figure out how to untie it now. Not too difficult. This is the, back, the reverse version. So if you wanna reverse engineer this knot, just uh, rewind. The snake oil's wearing off. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I'll be fine as long as I remember which pocket I put my slingshot in. But I've been bit before. Not only was she the biggest one, but she had the nicest eyes. Here's another little invention I want to show you. It's a spool that can be attached, tied on with elastic. Using a very simple tying method. 
You make some sort of constrictor knot right around. And this is if you want to trace your arrows. Hold it out like that so I don't get any line on my fingers. I have a few better models coming out. I'll talk to you later about it, but see? Pickled trout right out from under the banks of the river here. Helps if you're not yelling. And I like wearing, I'm used to wearing my sandals which cushion me from some of these river rocks. But walking barefoot feels so much better. You gotta take your time until you build your soles up. Yeah, every now and then you'll step on something sharp and it will give you a jolt. It's Cloud Talker. And I've been bitten by my slingshot before. Cloud Talker. Cloud Talker. And this is my little bow, big bow. And then you can draw back. Pull back. Getting a little bit more snake oil. a little bit more just like the mountain do there you put her in the pocket there for later you know doing all this research and trying to make do with what's around I love it so I could get a snake bite The snake oil. And I bet you won't guess what I got in the other pocket. It's Cloud Talker. And I've been bitten by my slingshot before. And the thing that I love about this design, not only does it shoot great, whew, she's powerful. It's energy efficient. Unless you're doing this. There's something about how a snake moves that really it's getting pissed off. She's getting she's starting to get a little peed off, so I'm gonna put her back down there in the pocket. Get in there. Now I'll tell you, whoo, that's smelly stuff. Whew, it's a acquired smell. That snake oil, whew, sure does keep the bugs away. They don't want anything to do with that snake oil. And wasps are very important in this recipe. Very important. Um, I'll do a little bit of shooting and let this, my snake calm down. It gets my heart racing. So when you stop, you want to check yourself out, make sure you don't have <laughs> But you can use the snake oil to blend in different plants, different things. It's a beautiful day. Tree there, right there. Now, I'll let this go right here under my bunk.
Snake eggs. Three eight steel shot actually. I'm putting that back in the hill to this. This is a detachable system. It holds a hundred feet of fifty pound braided line. You can shoot arrows, as you've seen. You can trace them. Or you could shoot an arrow right up over a tree and then pull a rope up. So it's a very useful tool. It's a lot of fun to shoot. Got the simple shot rubber. And everything's tied on with rubber, so we'll do some more videos on it. It's a cloud talker.